And if you're planning to score some Super Bowl merchandise, you'll want to be cautious about what you're really buying because there's a lot of counterfeit stuff out there. Green Bay is joined right now by Eric McLaughlin with Homeland Security Investigations, who's here to explain what buyers should be aware of. Karibe? Yeah, Mark, he's going to put me to the test to see if I can spot a fake. And I can tell you right now, I'm probably going to fail this, but thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let's go ahead and start here. Let's see. I'm going to say um, that that is a fake. You are correct. And really? if I could highlight uh, just a few reasons on why this is a fake one, it's when you're able to touch the products in a store, it's a little bit easier to tell. For this one, for example, you can tell that the numbers are raised, oh. and when you can actually flip the product inside and out, you can see that, you know, in this example, the threading, multiple oh. loose threads that is not consistent with a, with a quality product. Okay. Um, so when you're able to actually touch the product and look at it, it's a, it's a little easier to see as well. Okay, I feel like that's an easy telltale sign. Yes. Okay, let's move on to this jersey here. What jersey is this? Let's see. I'm going to say, oh gosh, I don't know. This one looks real to me. It looks like it has a lot of detail. You were two for two. You're off to a great start. Oh, this, really? this, okay. this is real. Okay. Um, and one of the ways you can tell on this as well is the, the numbers on the jersey. You can tell that it's not, it's not raised. It's very smooth. You mm -hmm. can, again, when you can touch it, you can really feel the quality in the stitching. Okay. And in particular, something that I think would be very helpful for a lot of people to know is that there's an NFL hologram that is available on quality, on legitimate NFL products that you're able to look at to determine is this something that is um, actually legitimate. Okay, I have seen that hologram before. Okay, the Cardinals jersey, I'm going to say this is a fake. I just looked at it quickly and for some reason it just didn't look real to me. You're, you're doing terrific. This is a fake and there's a few reasons on this one. So one of the obvious ones, you see actual the Cardinals themselves, just the quality of the mm -hmm. stitching. Um, as well as just going back to some of the um, to some of the commonalities that you would see as far as the the numbers themselves, there it's wrinkled, it's raised. Something to highlight on this one as well is uh, we're hoping to trick you, but we couldn't trick you on this one. Is that the NFL hologram itself? This one does have a hologram, which is a little unusual because these are more difficult to counterfeit. But one of the inconsistencies in this is the NFL um, itself and a legitimate product, it would be in full color, ah. as well as the two footballs would be in full color and brown in this. In, okay, in this Eric, I'm starting to feel like I may have a, a second career. We, we, we're, <laughs> we're always looking for great people. We'd love to bring you over. Okay, so how big is this problem? I mean, what are we talking about money-wise in terms of damages? So it's a huge problem. Um, one of the ways that Homeland Security Investigations is going after and targeting these types of uh, syndicates, these types of um, criminal activity mm -hmm. is through something called Operation Team Player, and that is something we're working with our Intellectual Property Rights Coordination Center, as well as our counterparts with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and as, as well as our counterparts in the National Football League itself to go out. Just in last year alone, there was over $1 billion worth of wow. counterfeit material uh, through, throughout, not just for NFL or Super Bowl, but throughout wow. um, throughout our investigations, just to give you an idea of so the So that hurts consumers, it hurts, it hurts businesses. Absolutely. So it, let's just say someone buys something and then later, later they get home and like, oh my gosh, this is a fake. What yep. can they do? So there's a, there's a number of ways to report it. One is you can report it to our office. We have a few different ways that that can be reported. Okay. Um, also through our IPRcenter.gov, there is a way to report information directly through that portal that will get disseminated out to all of our different field offices uh, to make sure that we're providing the right resources. And as well, if it's, if it's purchased through a, a different consumer, a lot of times they can report it directly to those, I'm sorry, to those retail outlets as well. All right, Eric, I guess you guys are going to be pretty busy yes. the next couple of weeks. Thank yes, you so much for coming in. Mark, I did, I did a lot better than I thought. You did. You would have gone four for four if you'd done the fourth one. The fourth one, one yeah, right. I know. Wait, we'll do it real quick. Real or fake? I'm going to say fake. It's real. Oh! oh I should have cool we were ahead. Yeah, yeah this, one, this one is real. I know. Right. Quit yes. while you're ahead. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks.